Good morning folks, I have got one day to show you around a city I've never been to before and of course it wouldn't be a Steve Marsh video if it wasn't a Sunday in January. Welcome to Bratislava, let's go. Now I think there's a nice church quite near my hotel, that'd be a good place to start wouldn't it on a Sunday? Of course it won't be open but let's go and have a look anyway. It's a thing I always notice in European cities when they're so clean in the city centre and that's the reason they've got the little cleaning trucks out first thing in the morning. I wish we saw that more in the UK. Some of the buildings here, in fact most of the buildings here, are just so grand. What a place. And talking of grand buildings, look at this. The Blue Church. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Now I'm not going to try to go inside because it sounds like there's a service going on just now but how beautiful is that building? I knew it was a blue church but I didn't know it would be like this. Wow. And it just kind of matches in with the perfect blue sky we've got this morning, doesn't it? Aye, I've got to admit that's absolutely magnificent, isn't it? What a way to start our day in Bratislava. Right, I think we'll head along to the old town now because that's not too much further. But look at this place. It's special in this morning light, isn't it? Yesterday when I arrived I was chatting to a subscriber at the airport, hi David, it was lovely to meet you and David was telling me how Bratislava used to be a cheap place to live and because of that a lot of Austrians would be buying property here and then commuting the one hour it is to get to Vienna but it's certainly changed days now, there's a bit of wealth in this city. There's always something getting filmed wherever I am. Now I think this takes us down to the old town. Busy, isn't it? And as we get there, we're walking through a fortification gate, well, a representation of one anyway. What's it saying? So it's the municipal fortification gate, pulled down in 1778. Okay. This way looks better. This is just gorgeous, isn't it? I know it'd be nice with a bit more life about it, but still, it's nice to have it all to myself as well. So that's us now in what would appear to be the main square. I tell you what, this is a big open space. But there's a few more of us tourists starting to appear now this morning. It's not quite as quiet as it was along the road. But I would still say compared to Bratislava's more famous neighbour Vienna, which as I say is just about an hour along the road, this place is a lot quieter. And I mean that in a good way. I'll stand here and I'll give you a 360. On the corner here we've got Kumil, a sewer worker, and Bratislava's most famous resident, I think. Now I'm not sure if he's gone up or down, or maybe he's just having a break. As nice as it is here, I think we'll just have a quick look at St Michael's Gate, and then we'll move on to less touristy places, okay? 
Although that does look beautiful in there, doesn't it? Maybe I'll come and see you later. <laughs> Loch Ness Scottish pub, what? Now this here in front of us is St Michael's Gate and this is the city's only preserved medieval fortification. Let's go and have a closer look. I mean, it is a lovely historic place, but in reality, it's just surrounded by pubs and kebab shops. Ah, okay, I recognise where I am now. I passed through here when I arrived in the city yesterday, but it was so windy, I just couldn't film then. If I just go up here, I think there was a really cool square that's even nicer to me than the historic one. So let's go and have a look. And as we cross the tram tracks over there in front of us, high up in the hill, we've got Bratislava Castle. I'm not sure if we'll have time to get up there today. We'll see. All these old underpasses are kept so clean. It's great to see, and it doesn't feel dodgy using them either, any time, day or night. Good morning, ladies. Hi, that's how windy it was last night, folks. Here's the other square I was looking for, Freedom Square. This is more my kind of place, isn't it? This centrepiece behind me is actually a fountain, the Fountain of Union. But since 2007, it's been out of order and there's no plans to get it going again. That's a shame. Well, I guess if it's out of order, that means we can wander over to the middle and have a bit of a closer look. I must admit, it's very cool. Looks very Soviet, doesn't it? Oh, I tell you what, it's such a beautiful day. I could just sit here for hours, I reckon. But onwards we must go. Right, let's head somewhere else now that also has a bit of a Soviet edge to it.
see some steps in our future, folks. Right, here we go. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. Hello. 150, 151, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 160, 61, 62, 63, 64, 60. So 218 steps later, and we've come out in what looks like a sleepy residential area, and we've still got to go uphill. And just off beyond those treetops, I can see exactly what we're looking for. As you can see behind me now, we're climbing high above the city. Some great views from up here. I am getting my exercise today. I'll need to put my steps count at the end of this video. And talking of steps, where did we finish? It was 218, wasn't it? There we go, 219, 220, 21, 22, 20. Ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight. 298 steps. Come on, they could have chucked in an extra couple, couldn't they? Or maybe I miscounted, but I tell you what, it was worth it. So this massive monument is called Slavin. Apologies if I'm saying that wrong, but it's a memorial to the thousands of Soviet soldiers who died liberating Bratislava from the occupying German forces in World War II. Some place, isn't it? And there's some incredible views of the city from up here. The list of names here just seems to go on forever. I and mean, when you look at the dates, most of them are just in their early 20s. The views from up here are pretty cool, apart from the massive crane, of course. And off in the distance, I can see a bridge that I think should be our next destination. Let's go. The buildings here are just something else, aren't they? Oh, and I love how on the sign for the zebra crossing, the guy's wearing a hat. I mean, look at this place. In fact, just look at everywhere. One thing I have noticed today though, is despite the lack of people around, there's not many parking spaces. The locals are really struggling to find a space. I've got to say, unlike a lot of European countries, Slovakia seems quite open for business on a Sunday. And over here behind me is the bridge I've been looking for. It's called the SNP Bridge. No, not that SNP. Now I read somewhere that this is the longest single pylon suspension bridge anywhere in the world. I'm not sure if that's still the case, but I do know that at the top of that pylon, there's an observation deck. Let's go and check it out. This is of course the mighty river Danube that we're crossing and it flows pretty fast through Bratislava, doesn't it?
Hmm, I wonder how you get up to the observation deck or if it's open at all today. Oh, I hope it's open. That's me directly under the pylon now and it's often called the UFO pylon. I think you can work out why. Okay, we're in. This way to the lift apparently. I'm glad there's a lift. And we're on our way. I guess it's one of these lifts that kind of goes sideways to follow the pylon. I can't feel it, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's doing. Oh, there's a bar and restaurant up here. If I was with Alicia, maybe, but not today. Hello. Hello. Thanks very much. And just a few more steps, and we'll be at the observation deck. Wow, that is impressive. This just has to be the best view in the city and on a clear day like today, it feels like you can see for hundreds of miles. And just over this way we've got the Austrian border and it's not very far away. And that's given me an idea. Do you think we can walk there? Okay, so let's head back down and try and walk to Austria. Is it possible? I've got no idea, but we'll get as close as we can. It's just got very busy. I think we went at the right time. Oh, we've just started and already it's not the best path. This might be a terrible idea, folks. Actually, it looks like the first place we've come to is a shopping mall. Maybe I should nip in there, use the toilet, grab something to eat, before we try and walk to another country, you know? Just a wee scramble up here. I always end up back in a mall, don't I? Although it looks quite nice in here, to be fair. So this is not fine dining by any means. I've just stopped for some schnitzel, but the malls over here are just the most incredible places. So clean, so tidy, everything is just incredible. You should have seen the toilets. But anyway, I'll just get tucked into this and then we'll get on our way, okay? Right, let's get going. We are short on daylight time. Back down the hill? I think so. I'm glad you can walk across this bridge because I know it's not always the case and it can make things pretty tricky. But I think we're going the right way, aren't we?
We're going to Austria. I figure if the worst comes to the very worst, we can get a taxi back or something. But I do prefer just to walk these routes. You see a lot more. I'm not actually finding this very easy so far to get out of here. But if we find Rontgenova, Rontgenova. Oh, that sun is dropping. Okay, this should be us now. If we just keep walking straight, well, pretty straight, we should get to the border. And before we get there, I think there's some really cool old wartime bunkers we could have a look at, if we can find them. You know something I'm not sure about, and maybe it's because us Brits live on an island, but how does language work in these border towns? Like, we're in Slovakia just now, so do they go from speaking Slovak here, and then straight away to whatever the official language is in Austria, when you cross the border? Or is it a gradual change? If you know, let me know in the comments. Although I'm sure that's something that Alicia would know the answer to. Crossing some train tracks now. But to be fair, it doesn't look like they've been used for a while, does it? Let's be honest, this is not the most inspired walk, is it? It's just like an industrial estate. And we've been walking into that big hard sun for about 25 minutes now. But at least we've still got some daylight, eh? It could be a different story on the way back. Oh, I think there's a train coming. Oof, that was fast. I never realised the tracks were open here. It would never be like that back home. But I do kind of like it. They leave stuff more to common sense over here. The way it should be, really. If you walk in the tracks, it's your own responsibility. Well, you know what, folks? The road is just suddenly narrowed. I think this is it. I think we're at the border. We're about to cross into Austria. And, of course, leave Bratislava. That shows it's right on the border, eh? And indeed, there we go on the other side of the road. That just confirms it. Slovakia, Bratislava. So how many times can I cross the border in five seconds? Well, in fact, no, that little car park we've just passed, indeed where we are right now, seems to be like some kind of no man's land between the two countries. Because this is the Austrian border. So my little border dance back there wasn't even authentic. There we are, we can now say it officially, welcome to Austria. Well, if they close the borders now, I guess that's me stuck, eh? But at least I don't have a bag in Slovakia, that's a good thing. If you don't understand that comment, watch my last video. So although we can officially now say that we're in Austria, I don't want to just show you an empty road. I want to find some civilization. So I'm going to walk a wee bit further to the town of Kitsi. Kitsi? I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but not to worry. It's just a wee bit further. There we are, our first Austrian house. Austrian registration plates on the cars. I'm sorry, I'm a bit sad. I get very excited about these things. Welcome to Kitsi. Now, I know that time's getting on a bit and I really should have turned back by now, but I just read that this town's got a castle. So we've got to go and see that, haven't we? And it's only 10 minutes further down the road. I just wish they'd build some pavements here. Is that it? That doesn't look like a castle, does it? Maybe I read it wrong. Is 
this a uh, Jewish cemetery? I think so. Do do do. No. I think that is the castle. Oh well. While it might not be much to look at, or even worth the walk to get here, we still made it to an Austrian castle. That's worth something, isn't it? Right, let's head back. I wonder if the locals here go across to Bratislava for their shopping, or if they want to stay loyal to Austria and just spend their money here. Hey, that's the castle I was expecting. That one's even got a moat. Goodbye, Kitsy, and your castle of disappointment. So this is us just about to cross the border again. We've got a wee sign here, the Iron Curtain Trail. My history knowledge is absolutely atrocious, but does that mean that this was part of the Iron Curtain? I don't think Czechoslovakia was ever actually part of the Soviet Union, but this would have still been quite a significant border, wouldn't it? We're back down in the wee car park between the two countries and I've seen a sign for Bunker BS-8. Now, I believe that Bunker BS-8 is the best preserved of the wartime bunkers on the border here. So we're going to have a look at that. But see when I'm here and I'm not in Slovakia and I'm not in Austria, where am I? What an absolutely beautiful evening it is. It's so calm now. When you think of what it was like yesterday, I couldn't even film yesterday, it was so windy. Way off in the distance over there, I can see Bratislava Castle sitting proud. We never did make it there, did we? Not in daylight anyway. But um, that reminds me, or shows me exactly how far I've still got to walk to get back to the hotel. Ah, so this bunker is an actual museum. I was expecting it just to be like, you know, the wartime bunkers you see in Scotland. And there's a wee graveyard next to it. What is this? Look at that. I like this. I wasn't expecting it to be like this at all. Can we get in? Maybe. No, it says that's the exit, but it does suggest that the place might be open, which would be nice. Look at this. Oh, and this is a military bathroom. Look at the luxury. Right, how do we get inside? Up here maybe? Nope, this just takes us on top of the bunker. I am so confused. I did manage to sneak inside for a wee peek, but then the guy caught me, told me they were closed and ushered me out again very quickly. So the wee bit of footage you see just now, that's just a bonus.
neutrálne. Francúzsko, Švajčiarsko, Rakúsko, Slovensko, Ukrajina. Ah, with hindsight, I maybe should have gone to one of the other lesser known bunkers that's not a museum and then I would have been free just to wander at my own pace and explore but it's too late now, the sun is almost down and I've still got about 1 hour 20 minutes to walk to the centre of Bratislava we might be on the outskirts of the city here but that just shows you how big this place is a long way to go Just in the middle of all these flats, there's a wee pub here. Am I brave enough to go in for a beer? Well, it's a bit dark in there, so I think I'll just sit outside. But look, 73, a good year. Cheers. Oh, if I do say it myself, that beer's well deserved. Maybe I could just jump on and hitch a ride, eh? Oh, this is so exciting. Now, I know I've just had a beer, but I swear I just saw the International Space Station pass high above us. I looked up and I saw the light in the sky and it wasn't flashing, so I knew it wasn't an aircraft. And then I checked online and the position seemed spot on. I'll put some grainy iPhone footage on just now and let you have a look at it, but what do you think? I'm 99% sure that was the ISS. me finally back in my hotel room sitting on the bed and I tell you what it's so comfy here I don't think I'm going to be moving again tonight I mean I might go for a bath I've even got a voucher for a free drink in the bar down the stairs but I don't think I'm going to be cashing that in I am so tired my phone tells me I've done 46,000 steps today and my feet tell me I've done 46,000 steps today so I'm quite happy just to sit here and relax but what did I think about Bratislava? Well, I hope you can see from the video that I really enjoyed it. But also, one day is just not enough. I'd love to come back and see all the stuff that I haven't seen yet. So I would totally recommend coming here. And I would even say if you're along the road in Vienna, say, and you've got a free day in your schedule, jump on a bus, a train, or even a ferry and get yourself to Bratislava. It'll be worth it. And this hotel room that I'm staying in, if you'd like to see more of that, check out last week's video, I think it's last week's video, where I have a proper look around, but I don't think it's a spoiler to say that I really like it. So thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.